guys, in this week's Mom Knows video, I'm gonna share with you how I deal with widening my shoes. I have ridiculously wide feet. I call them duck feet because they seriously are like giant triangles. It's kind of funny because my husband has canoe feet, so we literally have like the totally opposite problem. Aaron's feet are a size like 15, 16, and they're like super, super narrow when he has really long toes. I have really short stubby toes and essentially duck feet because they are so, so wide. Here they are in all their glory. I don't know if you can tell, but my feet actually still have the lines on them from where the shoes that I've been wearing today are rubbing into them. And literally, I buy shoes that are wide, wide, wide. I always go for wide with shoes. I try to splurge for shoes that are kind of orthopedic in nature and that I kind of expect to last for a long time. I'm super fortunate that I live by this store called Abadabas. I live in the Atlanta area. If you live anywhere near me, you'll be familiar with this store. They are pricey because the shoes that they carry are super high quality. It's not just a name brand. They're just really, really well-made shoes. But the nice thing is that they have sales a couple of times a year where all of their clearance shoes have like an additional 40 or 50 percent off so shoes that would be maybe like 150 to 250 you can get them for like 50 bucks i frequent those sales i try to go at least once a year just to see if they have any shoes that happen to be in my size they don't offer those same sales online so you kind of have to live in this area but you may have a shoe store like that near you and i would encourage you to check that out because if you can find stylish orthopedic cool shoes in your size on clearance that's definitely the way to go even with those special orthopedic shoes that come in wide widths that i get a really good deal on still those shoes are not wide enough for my feet so i have to stretch those as well before i found a way to widen them without having to just wear them in it would take me sometimes like six months of wearing shoes a couple of times a week before they really were wide enough for my feet the good news is that if you buy shoes that are high quality, once you've worn them in, they can last for like five to 10 years. So Birkenstock is, is a brand that I think a lot of people are familiar with where you can wear that shoe in and then have that shoe until the soles fall off. Maybe you can even have them resold, but it's worth the investment if you consider that you are basically paying like $10 a year for a really great pair of shoes. Definitely the way to go if you can. Now, I haven't purchased a new pair of shoes in a long time. It's probably been like six months since I bought a pair of shoes, so all of my shoes are basically broken in, except my dress shoes. Aaron and I are traveling for the first time in five years, this weekend, we're actually getting on a plane and going away. It's just a 48 hour trip, but I'm so, so excited. We are going to see a friend get married, so I am gonna be wearing dress shoes. I don't wear dress shoes that often. Even comfortable sandals that are dressy, I tend to not wear quite as much as just flats. We're leaving for this trip in a couple of days, and I want to have my shoes as wide as I possibly can before I start traveling with them. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I widen shoes when I know I'm gonna be wearing a pair of shoes for a long time and my shoes are not 100% broken in and I really need them to be comfortable. The product that I use is called Stretch Genie. I think I got this for like $10 on eBay and it's totally worth it. The kit came with this solution that I spray onto the inside of the shoe before I put the little stretchers in. And then it came with these two stretchers. So I can adjust these to the width that I need to and I actually can angle them to look like my foot so that when I come back, my shoe has stretched to basically the exact specifications that I need for my duck feet. These shoes actually have a layer of dust on them because I haven't worn them in so long. Don't worry, shoes, you're gonna get used this weekend. And they're so gorgeous. These are like beautiful, beautiful shoes. It will be wonderful to have them stretched. And I'm kind of wondering why I didn't do this sooner because it's now the end of the summer and I really would have worn these shoes every day if they were comfortable. The first thing that I do is I take my solution, pop off the top, and I'm going to spray the inside of the shoe right where I'm gonna be putting those stretchers. So, squirts on the other side. And I apply this liberally because it dries clear and it has never caused a problem with my shoes in the past. My leather is now saturated with the stretching solution. I'm gonna take out my stretchers. When you're setting your device, you wanna make sure that you're adjusting those end pieces to a shape that will mimic your foot. I like to go with the most exaggerated width that I can. 
I want it to stretch as wide as possible so that it's super comfortable when I go to put my foot in it the next day. You can see that the shoe with the spacers in it is quite a bit wider than the shoe without the spacers. And when you look at my foot compared to the shoe, the shoe is definitely not as wide as my wide feet. Both of my shoes now have those wideners in place. Because I've used these spacers before, I'm not concerned that the front of the shoe is gonna separate from the sole. Even if it separates a little bit, I need these shoes to be wide enough to comfortably wear, so I'm less concerned with there being a slight amount of separation, considering that I just don't wear these shoes very much since they're not comfortable. You can see that I'm stretching this out quite a bit, and because the shoe was not designed to be stretched this wide, there is a chance that there might be a little bit of separation from the sole. I doubt that it's gonna be really extreme with a shoe like this because it has those grommets in it, those little metal tacks, and I feel like the sides of the shoe are really well attached all the way down. So even if there's a little bit of separation, the shoe itself is not gonna fall apart. It'll just end up being way more comfortable. Here's what they look like now after 48 hours of having the widening spacers in. Nice, oh wow. That's way, way, way better. They feel great. So after having the widening spacers in for literally like 48 hours, they fit way better. I've never had an issue where leaving the spacers in longer was a problem. Like I've never widened a shoe so much that my foot just slipped right out. I'm going to wear these shoes today and make sure that they are wide enough to really get away with wearing for a long time. I definitely recommend that you give this a try yourself if you find that your shoes are oftentimes not wide enough and you're looking for a way to solve the problem of widening your own shoes. I hope you guys have found this information to be helpful. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button below and we'll see you back here again next week. Bye. Ew.